Cam, when you came to North Central, obviously you came for basketball, but what else were you looking for when you came to school? Uh, just like being a different person and like making new friends and getting to know what I really want to do in like my career and stuff like that. Well, let's break that down a little bit. Being a new person, I think it's a new start to your mm -hmm. life when you go to college because you're on your own. You're all. Is that what you're talking about? Being yes, a new sir. person? Yes, sir. Like I have my mom and stuff back there in high school. I can call her every day. Nowadays, I can't really call her how I want to call. I just gotta like take everything like you know to me. Right. Why? Why can't you call her? I mean, I can call her, but I just like still doing stuff on my own so I can get better yeah. and just you know. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you from an old man's perspective, yeah. okay? I, my mom is is 80 years old, and uh -huh. I still talk to her. Yeah, about I things. talked. To but there was a time when yeah. I wanted to do stuff on my own. So yeah, I, I, get, I get that. Do you what were you gonna say? Yeah, I was just trying to like stuff, do stuff on my own. Like I know she's probably getting tired of me asking some money. For money <laughs> yeah. and you know what? And I'm gonna I'm gonna contradict you and say I bet she's not tired yeah. that she enjoys <laughs> that. Um, if you're anything like my uh, if she's anything like my mom. Um, what is she wise about? I mean, what in what areas does she help you? I mean, like, she helped me, with, like, right now she gives me helping me with food and just, like, keeping me on track, telling me to get my schoolwork done and just right. checking up on me every day right. before I go to sleep and wake up. How is school, by the way? Is it a, is it a big jump from, from, like, high school? Yeah, it's a pretty big jump. Wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning every day and get to class and all that. But the easy part about it, I got four classes. In high school, I had seven, so... Yeah, that's a difference. Plus, you're on your own, like yeah. you said, and uh, it's a di different atmosphere. What's the What's the number one thing you had to learn when you became a college student? Oh, that's a good question, Mr. Rick. Uh, really, is just staying on top of your schoolwork. Yeah, because nobody is here to like like baby or nothing. You just here on your own, so you gotta yeah grind. I know Coach Esri uh, requires certain things of you as a player. Yeah. Uh, does it help a little bit with your time management that, that yeah. he is looking like, over like your the shoulder? SSS program, I feel like that's pretty good. I had it in high school because if I did, I probably would have had like you know good grades. But right, right now the SSS program is pretty, pretty decent. Right. Yeah. Cam Bevel is our guest as we are uh, visiting here at halftime. If I get the story right, you were planning on redshirting this year, right? Yes, Before sir. Uh, Damian Lloyd's injury. Yes, sir. How do you feel about that? Would you have preferred that? Would, are you happy to get a chance to actually play? Yeah, I'm happy to get a chance to play and show the Trent community how, I'm, how I really play and all that. Like, yeah. Where did where did you grow up? I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah. And so how's the uh, obviously smaller town yeah. and probably slower lifestyle uh -huh. here? How have you fit into that? I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty laid back and cool. You just, I got a couple friends that you hang, hang out with, and you just do chill stuff and trade. It ain't really much to do down here, but yeah, just hang out and just have a good time. I think it's really important that when you go to college, you have a, uh, a group to be a part of right away. Yeah. That helps you get acclimated. And your group is uh, the basketball team, obviously a couple basketball. baseball players too. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, at North Central, it is a small group. You yeah. athletes live on campus uh -huh. for the most part. How has that relationship been? I mean, how how have they pretty, helped you? I, I made a couple of friends that's nice. I feel like in a long in like ten ten to fifteen years, some of them boys are gonna have a nice career because some of them boys are really like intelligent, like out there. Well, you're talented too. Maybe they're saying the same thing about you. Yeah, but. <laughs> I can see it, though. Yeah, I, I will tell you, though, you make some of your best friends and some of your best memories will be things away from the court yeah. just with your friends, uh -huh. you know, just with your friends. What's your best memory so far on the court? Uh, this year, my best memory is on the court is being DMAC. I never beat the number one team. Yeah. That was a national team. Well, I, you have a chance again today gotta, against Kirkwood. Yeah, Kirkwood, too. So, yeah. we're going to be... Prepare for this win right here. Yeah, yeah. What was the feeling after beating DMAC? What What were the thoughts in your head? Just a winner. Just beat the number one team. So okay. they get us a little start. It was a chip on our shoulder to just, you know, we can beat anybody. Right. How about the, what did you learn from the three-game losing streak that came afterwards? Um, I just, we just learned that we just need to stick together on the court. Like, Close up a couple more, look, uh, like how I said. Like we just gotta come in, come come together. Yeah, and just get it, get it off. Yeah, just you know, I, I, seal it up. 
in my experience, I think when you have those times, you have to have each other's backs. Yeah. You have to have that brotherhood. Yeah, we gotta have a brotherhood. And I think yeah. I feel like it's coming. It's coming along. It's just, yeah. We go speak to what six games. Right. Whole, exactly. Whole season, Seven now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and the other thing is, is that you beat DMAC and then you get beat. You know, three times in a row. Yeah. No one's gonna feel sorry for you. No. <laughs> no they're not gonna no make way. it any easier on no. you. But but that's what you want, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. But we've been working over the last past few few yeah. weeks though. Yeah. We're getting better. Cam, what's the best part of your game? What do you what do you think your strength is? I mean, I'm a quick guard, a lanky guard. Some guards are not as fast as I am. I yeah. can change pace at any type of time in the game. And I can really I can shoot and dribble the ball a lot. Yeah, right. One right. Of my strengths. How about the pace that the Pirates play at? Do you enjoy that fast yeah, pace style? Yeah, I like that. I, that's, that's one reason I came here because I, I heard that Coach Esri just get up in the hundreds, and I like to get up and down the court. I'm right. a fast guy, so I'm really not a like half court offense guy, but it ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm just yeah. I'm fast enough to just get up and down the court. Sometimes you have no choice. Yeah, I have no choice, so. How about defensively? Was it hard to learn how to play defense in Coach yeah. Ezra's system? Yeah, he wants you to move your feet, have your hand, like no hand checking. Yeah. No fouling. Yeah. yeah. Um, tell me about your what you're going to do after North Central. You want to play professionally at some level? Yeah, I want to play probably overseas. Right. Yeah. You have a, I, and this is probably not a fair question because you don't have a lot of choice sometimes, but where would you prefer to go to probably spend China. those years? China, really? Yeah. Okay, I was not prepared for that answer. Yeah, China. Why China? Because one of my coaches that I played with this summer, he played down and he just like had so much love from them people. Like he was on bulletin boards and like he had kids coming up and getting autographs for him and everything like that. He to own the business down there and all type of stuff. I just start looking up to him when he said he played in China, and I just start looking to China. Right. Basketball. Cam, I, again, I was surprised by that answer, but I, I'm, I, that's a good thing to hear. Um, what about when you're done with basketball? When you're when you're a little older and your body is not ready to play basketball anymore, I I, you want to do something professionally? Probably. If anything, I'd probably riff. Yeah? Yeah. A lot of guys do that yeah, to stay in the game. Yeah, just stay in the game because I love the basketball game. Yeah. So, How do you get along with referees right now? Oh, that's a good Do you question. have a respect for them that you know yeah, you do that? I got respect for them, yeah. I just try to dap them up every time we play and get a little communication going with them. Right. You just know the referee game. You know? I, th I think that's great as both uh, if you want to do refereeing in the future and just the way you relate to them in a game. Yeah. It can't hurt anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the opponents that we play against, we are playing such a hard schedule these days. Is there some mutual respect there? I mean, do you guys talk on the floor? Uh, I know it probably gets a little chippy sometimes because you're all competitive, mm -hmm. but what's it like to, to be on the floor with other guys that are just as competitive? It's fun. I just know I got people that got my back. Right. That'll fight for me. Right. So I really can't get mad at them about that. We argue on the court. It's probably for a good second or two. Then we back locked in and trying to get the next play done. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Finally, as you uh, go through your career here, whether it's sports or athletics, do you have any goals in mind for your two years or whatever it'll be I here at North Central? I champion this year or next year. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And probably this year, probably I'm trying to average like 10 or something, 10 points, like three assists, not too much. Just trying to get my flow going and get ready for next year and just get used to the ball in my hand and run it up and down the court with grown man. Right. So... Outside of basketball, what do you like to do? Probably just chill and play the game, probably. Yeah? Yeah. Probably what games? 2K. 2K? Yeah. That's a big one, isn't it? Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, do you play uh, against your teammates or online? I'll be playing with uh, my teammates and playing people online, like, from everywhere. Outside of you, who's the best 2K player on the team? Because I'm sure you are. Uh, DeMarcus. DeMarcus is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. Second, I'd say, Zay or Evan. Okay. Yeah. All right. And finally, what is one thing you would like people here, watching, listening, whatever, what would you like people to know about you that maybe they don't? I'm a intelligent young man. I just, I'm a hard worker. I'm a hard worker. I'm, I'm going to work out. I'm going to work, outwork the person next to me. That's great. You know, that'll get you by in so many parts yeah, of life. So. Yeah. Uh, Cam Bevel, this has been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you, man.